Welcome to a new Scary Tuesday TikTokers. Today, we'll be diving once more into the world of cinema to remember an animated movie that has scared many people all over the world, Coraline. The protagonist of this movie is Coraline, an 11-year-old girl who just moved to Oregon with her parents and feels pretty sad because she misses all of her friends she left behind in Michigan. Moreover, her parents barely spend any time with her, which makes her feel lonely. She's also a pretty curious and adventurous girl, so one day, when a mouse tries to guide her through the house, she doesn't hesitate to follow him. And so, she finds a secret door in the house and goes through it. Coraline can't believe what she finds on the other side. A parallel reality with a house just like hers but seemingly located in a different dimension. This parallel house is very similar to her real home, with the difference that her parents in that other dimension are much more loving and attentive, and everyone else is very nice. However, one disturbing detail about that world is that her parents have buttons stitched on their eyes. At first, that disturbs Coraline, but she becomes used to it over time. Over the next few days, Coraline discovers that many things there just don't make sense and terrifyingly enough, her mother from that dimension tries to stitch buttons on her eyes too and make her stay in that world forever. And so Coraline has no other choice than to make a plan to save herself and go back home, since not only her but her entire family are in grave danger. If you haven't watched it yet, Tic Tackers, we will not be spoiling the ending here since you should totally experience it for yourselves. This animated movie is an adaptation of the novel by Neil Gaiman of the same name. The movie was critically acclaimed, so much so that it was even nominated for an Oscar for Best Animated Movie. It is clear that this story is as scary enough as it is Tic Tackers, but are you aware about what's actually behind it? After doing research on different internet forums, we learned about the terrible event that Neil Gaiman used as the base to write his book. Neil was born in a small English town named Hampshire, and it's precisely there where he found the inspiration to write his novel. In that town lived an old lady with her little granddaughter. They lived all alone since the parents of the little girl died in a terrible fire. However, the girl survived thanks to her brave grandma, who bursted into the burning house to rescue her. And from that point on, many of the neighbors accused her of being a witch. However, after that terrible event, the grandma wouldn't allow her granddaughter to get out of the house for any reason, and didn't allow anybody to approach them either. The neighbors could only tell that they were alive thanks to the shadows that could be seen through the windows and nothing else. People in the town would call her Evil Mother since she wouldn't allow the little girl to go out to play or even breathe some fresh air. The mystery which surrounded that house sparked the curiosity of many, especially among young people, and among them was Neil Gaiman. Because of that, one night, while Neil and his friends were camping, they agreed to break into the old lady's house. Once inside, everything was very dark and a particular smell impregnated the entire place. A mix between humidity and muck. They also found some little girl clothes, so it seemed that it was true that the old woman's granddaughter lived there. The house was pretty small, so they didn't take long to find the room of the girl who they calculated to be around 10 years old in that moment. However, to their surprise, there was no bed in that room, but a crib. It was unthinkable that a girl of that age could be sleeping in a crib, so they decided to check if she was there. And what they saw left them frozen in shock. Inside the crib was a small body, completely carbonized. It was dressed and had buttons stitched where its eyes would be. They couldn't contain the horror they felt and screamed with all their might without stopping. Ah! This resulted in more of the neighbors coming into the house, who then called the police after witnessing such a disturbing scene. The agents then took the old lady to a psychiatric center. However, the story does not end there, tic -tacers. 
When the police inspected the old woman's house, they found something even more disturbing. Books filled with information about the town's children, as well as many items related to witchcraft. And to top it all off, under the house, they found the remains of a girl who had disappeared years before. It is believed that the old woman wanted to use the body of another child as a vessel for the spirit of her granddaughter. Terrifying, isn't it? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode!